Hey guys, so to heat. Jesus. Hey! Today I'm here to review Leviathan's Expanse by James S.A. Corey. No. <laughs> Leviathan Wakes. First book in The Expanse by James S.A. Corey. It's kind of an adventure sci fi where humanity has expanded out through the solar system. We've inhabited, I think, most of the planets. They only really talk about Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt in the story, though. Basically, the story follows Holden and Miller, who. Miller is a detective who is searching for a girl, and Holden is an ice runner who runs ice from the asteroid belts out to other places so they can have water, because, you know, humans need water to survive. In those two tasks, they end up being caught up, or the beginnings of a war, technically, between the Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt. Everyone's kind of at each other's throat, because everyone's a douchebag, because humanity in space, everyone's an asshole. I read this one a while back, so I'm trying to remember it as I review it, but that's also why I take notes, because I have a terrible memory. But this book had a nice mashup between, like, detective noir and just the regular, like, pew 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 pew, space fighting, or space warship battle, naval battle, laser spam. What am I even trying to say? I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. Ship-to-ship -ship naval battles with lasers and torpedoes and such. It has a good balance between the two. Pretty generally dark and gruesome story. They describe deaths... vividly in some points. Like, I'm not going to give you names because I don't want to spoil anything. Because you should really read this book. But, um, one of the characters during a scene of attack gets his head shot off. Like, just off. Like, off, off. O-F-F, -F, off. And since they're in, like near zero gravity, the blood has, like, nowhere to go, so it just kind of goes up and pools into a little ball above his head, so he's got, like, a little blood ball above his neck, and it's... it's gross, but I kind of loved it. Oh, and then when they get to the space zombies, but... because, yeah, there's space zombies in it, which weren't in the show, but... I don't know why they chose to do that. Um, but, yeah, when they get to the space zombies and they talk about their leaking fluids and stuff, like, oh man, it is gross. <laughs> the one thing I really liked about this story, too, is it was all about humans. I mean, like, more or less. Um, there's a little bit of... There's the potential for aliens to happen later on, but nothing happens in this book, and I'm halfway through the second one, and nothing alien-ish is happening there. Sort of... I don't know if you would count the... I don't even know if this is a spoiler, but there's a proto-molecule thing, which they discover and it does weird things and that's sort of alien-ish but they've never actually tied it with aliens it's just a thing the aliens haven't shown up yet but I'm if they come I'm more than willing to accept that into the story because it's probably where it's headed they lay it on real thick that the aliens exist oh yeah and that molecule thing gave me weird thoughts about like consciousness and what it means to be human and what it means to actually be alive and it's it's interesting but yeah, anyway, this is the first book in a series of, I can't remember how many there will be, but there are five right now, and I think the sixth one is coming out soon? I i don't know. I mean, check the Goodreads for it. Like, you've got the internet, you know what to do. But I plan on reading them all, and probably reviewing them on this channel, because I really do like it. It was the book that really got me back into sci-fi. There's a book that kind of knocked sci-fi out of the park for me, and that's a review for another day, though, but that one's coming... Probably next week. We'll see. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, I think. Yeah, it was a really good sci-fi. I suggest you get it. Yeah, that's it for this one. I will see you next time. Bye!